was good. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, I'm back and joining up the banger video, man. Today, I'm finna be bringing y'all the uh. Well, I'm finna be uh, doing a genius, a genius reaction of uh, suburban cradles. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot. I did that. I did that. I did the cradle, the cradle reaction like, uh, like, like six months, or seven months ago, some crap like that. And y'all, bro, it's just the song, guys. It's just my opinion, you know. It's just relax. It's my opinion. Not everybody like the same music, you know. Not everybody like the same music, bro. Y'all, bro, the video so well, y'all still coming on the thing, man. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. You know, uh, I didn't know the song had a meaning to it. You know what I'm saying? I just reacted to it. Just put it out, man. It was my first time reacting to it. I thought it was gonna be, you know, a nice song. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's my opinion, bro. I, I didn't like it, you know what I'm saying? It's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just like, I, I, I know for a fact that not all y'all like this. I, know. I know for a fact that I know for a fact that you know, everybody don't like the, the uh, like the same song, you know. Everybody got their taste in music. So, but man, I'm finna uh, react to this, man. You know what I'm saying? Imagine a kid in a crib. They don't know what the hell is going on. They're getting, their room's getting surrounded. It's a movie scene. Uh, their room's getting surrounded by fire. It's really similar to, you know, how everyone copes with their life just crumbling around them in a batter of chaos. You just kind of pretend it's not happening or you don't know what's happening. <laughs> Cradles was like my take on the parallels between adulthood and childhood broken down to like the most instinctual faiths you know when someone's throwing a tantrum as a kid carries into adulthood we're no different we're all fucking babies we get sad when we don't get what we want and i feel like we, nobody ever really grows out of that even as an old man you know my dad's cursing in the car when he takes a, long, a wrong turn i started off on the piano i was writing this jazz idea for a lo-fi hip-hop thing and i just randomly hit the the chords and i just realized like Oh shit, that's a hit. Originally I wanted to go with like a string pizzicato for the uh, the drop. And I realized it's just gonna sound so much more raw with just music box bells. And you know, because music box, I immediately just thought, oh, this could be like a take on like babies, childhood, innocence, whatever. Uh... So that's what the, so that's what the song, you know, it's about. Childhood, you know, adulthood, basically. That's what he's saying, right? Let me know if I'm wrong down below in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? Live inside my own world of make-believe. I wrote this two years ago when I was a dissociating little bitch teenager, and not much has changed. It's almost like a coping mechanism. Everyone deals with, like, a level of dissociation in their life. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through eyes covered in ink and bleach. I see the world through... Bro, his voice is so deep, you know, when he, but when he sings, it's just like, it's different, you know? Black and white, like everything's so bipolar. Like, sure, there's gray, but, you know, more and more every single day we stray from the gray parts of everything. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. At certain points during my uh, my high school life, I, I, I just felt like I had nobody. Even my close friends were like, who the fuck are you? Uh, like, they didn't know how to, like, help. And I don't blame them. I was a mess. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. You're struggling to breathe in this fiery room. That's all right. You're not really noticing it. It's just kind of like a peaceful ending. It's all up to this climax of breaking down or giving up or for some people, suicide. Hush. You're gone. It's, it's black. Tape my eyes open to force reality. Why can't you just let me eat my weight in glee? They're trying to force me to realize what's going on in front of me. Like, hey, you gotta take this seriously. And I just don't want to. Can I just do whatever I want? Why do I have to live by your restrictions and physicality? I just want to 
overeat. I just want to do whatever I want. I live inside my own world of make-believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days. Sometimes I can't tell if my body belongs to me. It just felt like I wasn't really in my own body. You ever play any sort of game in third person? That was me. Oh my god, it was. I feel like that sometimes, you know. I feel like that sometimes, you know, like I'm, you know, like I'm not in my body. But you know, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that you know everybody, you know, feel that, you know, feel that like way. Well, felt that way before. I could be wrong. Like, hey, some people don't, but most people do, you know. Some Detroit become human shit. I wanna taste your content. I wanna know what it feels like to be someone who has their priorities. I wanna know what it feels like to be whole. So many people thought I was saying, I wanna taste your cunt. One of my friends I made off of fucking TikTok. He said, I, I need to know, I need to clarify, are you saying content, content, or cunt? Because I need to know if I can play it in the car with my parents. I told him. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm talking about eating a girl out now. <laughs> Hold your breath and feel the tension. Devils hide behind redemption. Honesty is a one-way gate to hell. You can't be yourself. You can't fully, like nobody can really just say whatever they want without seeming like a complete cunt. Honesty is a one-way ticket to hell. Like I'm not saying whatever I want, even if I wanted to. And because of that restriction, it comes back to like, childhood versus adult as a kid you, you're not really taught like oh what's manners and what's not it's like i'll say whatever the hell i want about jimmy's dumb hat fuck him i wanna taste consumption breathe faster to waste oxygen hear the children sing aloud it's music till the wick burns out hush it was honestly just a creepy line that i threw in there children are singing lights go out Ooh, they're screaming now just wanna be carefree lately, yeah. Just kicking up daisies, got one too many quarters in my pockets. Counting like the four leaf clovers in my locket. I was born into a fortunate life, no, no doubt. I've gained. That was a nice bar right there, you know. I like that bar, that was a nice bar, that was, that was fine. And even more fortune since I started doing music. I got full pockets, and now uh, I got too much luck. Too much. Untied laces, yeah Just tripping on daydreams Got dirty little lullabies playing on repeat During the point in my life where, uh, I don't know, I was Everything was losing meaning Music, every fucking sound Just, it sounded the same Even the diverse shit I just didn't hear anything special I almost just played like a little lullaby in the background The current shit that's out right now Y'all production fucking this sucks. <laughs> I'm so sick of like emo hip hop because it's so like poorly blended. Everybody's taking like the uh, the cliches of both hip hop and emo and just throwing it together and calling it a new genre. Fuck you, no. It takes more than that. Might as well just ride around like nursery and count sheep. Eh, it's catchy. It's like I'm, I'm just sitting in an asylum. I'm just riding around. I'm just in a padded room and counting sheep, but just struggling to fall asleep. I didn't sleep today. I tried for four hours rolling around in bed. I just couldn't sleep. sleep. It happens when I try to like fit into a normal cycle. I'm fucking sick of hearing my own song on TikTok and wherever people keep sending me it. There's so many big stars out there who have listened to their own songs for like 50 plus years. You guys are suffering out there. I've only been listening to it for like two months. <laughs> Back on his YouTube grind, I'm gonna be uploading every day. And y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry for the, the, the suburban video I put out. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry for that video, guys. It's just, look, don't be mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I apologize if I uh, you know, made y'all mad. Upset, you know, y'all, I made y'all upset or something. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it's just my opinion. You know, everybody has their own opinion. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not gonna like the same song, you know? You know? But yeah, man, you know, I just wanted to apologize, man. I ain't know that I ain't know they had I ain't know they had a meaning to the song, you know what I'm saying? But now I know. You know what I'm saying? But hey man. Yeah, bro. I didn't know, man. For the last time, I apologize, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Forgive me, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me, bro.
forgive me, you know what I'm saying? But hey, man, I'm gonna catch y'all guys in the next video, man. I'm out. Peace. Want the recognition? Put these people on. Motherfucking listening. I'm cleaning niggas like some dishes. Know what I be on? I don't hardly listen.